be that beacon light that you are calling for. That God, that dying souls will know that there is a reality in serving you. That God, that where there is something that they can get from you, God, not just the food that they're going to get, God, not just the clothing that they're going to get, not the blankets, but God, knowing that we can have you. And God, that when we have you, we know that we have everything. So our mission is to be like Christ and meet the spiritual need as well as the natural need to get folks saved and feed them at the same time. We can't preach Christ and not show the love of Christ. I can't tell a homeless person you need Jesus and they're hungry. Let me give you a sandwich first. Then let's talk about Jesus. Let me give you some food first. Then we can talk about it. I need to show the love before I preach the love. Good morning, everybody. It's Angel here, and we are at our first site location. This is New Life Ministries, where Pastor Dana Green is the pastor, preacher, and prelated this fellowship. As you can see, Bethany Baptist Church has already coupled with this ministry, and they're out here setting up shop. The hands are aggressive, and the hearts are ready to serve and reach the people right where they are. So if you look right across, you can see everyone setting up the packages to feed uh, the homeless and those that are less fortunate than us. And then inside you'll find the Thanksgiving turkeys and baskets. But I just want you guys to see the works of your labor already beginning. Getting started, look at our pastor over there. But look at these people already working. We have Danielle Shorter, a familiar face at the plaza. You guys get to see her in another element, something she's passionate about, and that's witnessing to souls. And she's out here in Camden, ready and girded with the line of truth. We are so excited about the word of God and the message that's taking place today. Let's get inside and see this. Can you tell them what you hope to see today? God's love being demonstrated through us and by the blessing of God. The glory of God is what we seek in this place. And I'm excited because the need is great. And I'm excited. The harvest is great and the labors are few. And I'm just so excited to be in fellowship today with my brothers and sisters in Christ. God is great. This is Tabernacle of Faith, a pillar church here in the community of Camden City, a church that's been here for many years where Pastor Mays is the pastor and preacher and teacher and doctor here. Well, as you can see, they are already catching the fire. There is an array of people already out here serving and to be served. And we're so excited about spreading the good news of Jesus. My, my son and me are very appreciative to everything you guys have done. And we want to say thank you. All right, church, I am here at Life Assembly Ministry for Christ right in the heart of Camden City, New Jersey where they are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ and they believe in the teaching and the word of God being exemplified not just in the word and in the house but outside of the church. Amen? Amen. Meet the Amen. pastor and his Amen. lovely wife Sherry. This is Pastor Sutton and the New Life family. Say hi. How are you? God bless you. <laughs> so, can you speak to us a little bit about your excitement for partnering with Bethany Baptist Church for Catch the Fire? How do you feel about this initiative? Well, this is an exciting thing for churches to be able to partner together. You know, it's one of the things that sometimes churches don't like to do, uh, but but the Bible says, do not forsake the assembling of the saints. And so it's important for us to come together and work together. We do be able to bless the community and those around us. Yeah. Pastor Sherry, what are you looking forward to as you see the families and the people coming out? What are you looking forward to seeing today? I want people to know that the Lord cares about them. Whatever plight they're in, God is still with them. He's still protecting them and he's still sending people out to make sure that they're okay. Yes, I'm trying to say thank you for everything. You're doing a great job out here today. All of y'all in the church is doing a great job for people on the streets, and thanks a lot for everything. Man, it's beautiful, man. Uh, I thought that this was going to be a Thanksgiving where nothing was going to be happening for me, but y'all y'all made it a blessing to come out here. Yes, God is good in my life. When I got from behind that PNC bank being homeless and didn't have nowhere else to go, he delivered me. And I said once I got delivered, I wouldn't turn back. I'm in a road recovery. I'm, you know, I have an outpatient program. God is good to me. Hey family, I want you to see the other family that you know. They are a part of the Abundant Harvest Fellowship. Say hi to Pastor Swinney and the Fresh Oil family. Hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> Pastor Swinney, speak to us a little bit about the excitement here on Mechanic Street, catching the fire. How do you feel about this? I'm speechless as you can see. 
God is just blowing this thing up. We're just so excited to be united with Bethany and what God is doing among us all. Yeah. So look, I heard y'all that went out of everything, what, in the first hour? Yes. We're waiting for God to breathe again. <laughs> so listen, can someone speak to us a little bit about the need here in Camden City? Like, I don't know if people know just how demanding the need is. Will you speak to a little bit about that? Well, it's just a blessing because us is showing the heart of Jesus and just letting people know that he lives. So we are just so grateful and thankful to God and this land on uh, Bethany to be a part of the blessing for the city of Camden. Hey. That this church is standing on holy ground, the power of the Lord. You see that? <laughs> Let me tell you guys, the power of the Lord is in this place. I want you guys to meet the Lion of Judah Ministries right here in Somerdale, New Jersey. Say hi. Listen, they have been out here witnessing, handing out food, making sure they're meeting every single need and expectation that walks across this table. This place is definitely a blessing to the people in this community. So Bethany family, I want you to meet Mr. Martinez and his lovely wife here. Well, it's really important, um, especially I was telling to the volunteers every uh, month that we do, that the people, they just don't come to look for the groceries. They also need for a hug for love and that's our way that we can take to show God's love to them and you usually you know approach them by praying for them and it's a great experience and we're really glad that we can do something for the kingdom of God especially all together with you guys Bethany and Lion of Judah so it's a great great experience hey family I'm out here in Blackwood New Jersey now and we are at the Gloucester Township Vision Family Resource Center. Bethany Baptist Church, of course, has coupled with this ministry. And we're so excited about what God is doing here. We're doing it big. Photobomb by our assistant pastor. <laughs> Let's go inside and get into it. Bethany, this is our new family right here. Marcy, Marcy, say hi to the fam. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, Marcy, what uh, has it been? What type of experience has it been partnering with the church? And then how effective do you think churches can really be in their community? Well, I think it's great. I did ask a lot of questions, you know, how the turkeys came and how many individuals in a family that they feed. And I think it's great. I think that the community needs a lot of help and the churches really do make a big impact. Um, my most impactful moment was when I saw a lady and she didn't have anything but a pink blanket on. And pants that were too small for her. So I gave her my jacket. And she was so thankful. And it just makes me appreciate what I have more. It just like touched me because the things that we take for granted, she really, really needed. I think my most impactful moment was a gentleman opening his care package bag. He immediately took out his toothbrush and just began to brush his teeth. And he brushed his teeth. So to me, since too. that, a long time, yeah. A long time. Um, to me, that was really impactful because of what we did here. Yeah. To, put the packages together and right. then to see the people so excited yes. about uh, receiving receiving the care packages. Also there was one instance um, Angel told us about where a gentleman opened his care package and was just over the moon because there were socks. socks. Just socks. Think, we take socks for granted. So to him it was like he won a million dollar lottery. Yes. So those types of things just warmed my heart and yes. it just made everything worth it and I just can't wait, wait. to next year. Yes. The vision for 2016, 2017 is gonna be absolutely awesome. In my eyes, this was just the start of what we're getting ready to do. This helped create the template. This was the genesis, the seed of what we're gonna do later. Next year, we're pulling in our harvest churches so we can feed people across the nation on one day. One day at one time. Multiple churches around the country are going to feed thousands. I can't wait uh, for what God is going to do in next year. We're so excited that after Thanksgiving, after the holidays, we're going to start planning next year, this year. And watch what God does throughout the nation. 
So again, this this year was just the test, the trial and error of us doing what we need to do. Now we got it down packed. God moved in a tremendous way. We had a few obstacles, but the Lord still moved anyway. They didn't stop us. It didn't stop a thing. The devil tried to stop it, but God still moved. But next year, we cannot wait as we feed thousands across the nation. Bethany, this is so much bigger than us. This is about the kingdom of God establishing its footprint in this world. And we can't wait for what God's going to do in 2016. Y'all get ready because we're going to show it to you very soon. You're going to see what God's going to do. We hope you catch the vision, catch the fire, and watch what God's going to do.